we also have joining us Mr. Jose Manuel de Jesus, Vice President for Business Development Asia of the International Container Terminal Services Incorporated. Good afternoon, sir. We have Attorney Maria Victoria Escarol, Senior Deputy Executive Secretary. We have Attorney McHill Bryant T. Fernandez, Deputy Executive Secretary for General Administration. Attorney Kim Riza Ooi, Undersecretary of the Office of the Executive Secretary. Attorney Martin Christopher Francisco Roman, Assistant Secretary, Office of the Chief Presidential Legal Counsel. We, of course, have, yes, thank you for your presence. We, of course, have the Commissioner for the Sur Civil Service Commission, Attorney Ryan Alvin R. Acosta. Thank you, sir. We have Attorney Giovanni Tan Lim, Head Prosecutor of the City of Manila. We will also have Sir Rolando El Macasaid, President and General Manager of the Government Service Insurance System. For the post office executives, we have the assistant postmaster generals. For operations, we have engineer Joel El Zamudio. For administration and finance, Mr. Francis D. Sereno. And for management support services, Mr. Maximo C. Santa Maria III. We are now joined by our honoree, Ms. Yuka Sasso and her team. Let's give them all a round of applause. We have here holding the very grand championship cup, Mr. Jeffrey Chilcote, president of the Sterling Sports Management. We will begin in a few more moments. Thank you so much. And the guest we have all been waiting for, we have with us our champion, Yuka Sasso. Let's give her a round of applause, everybody. Thank you to you and your team. And of course, we also have her father, Mr. Masakazu Sasso, with us today. So before we begin, a reminder, in line with health and safety protocols, kindly ensure that your face masks are worn securely. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am your Master of Ceremonies, Abigail Taraza from the Post Office. Welcome to the Manila Central Post Office Building, the heart of the Philippine Post Office. This isn't just any regular Tuesday afternoon. Today, the Post Office gathers us to recognize a milestone in Philippine history and celebrate it through stamps. The Philippine Postal Corporation today welcomes to you welcomes you to the official launch of stamps featuring Yuka Sasso, first Filipino to win the U.S. Women's Open Championship. Let's give her a round of applause. Again, thank you, Ms. Yuka Sasso and her team for obliging this historic tribute. To formally begin, we will have a short invocation followed by the Philippine National Anthem led by the Manager for Human Resource Management Department, Ms. Rosemary N. Tubal. May I request everyone to please bow down our heads as we go to the Lord in prayer. Our Most Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Creator of Heaven and Earth, the one who gives success and wins to each and every individual. We thank you, Father God, for this opportunity 
that we can do that post office can share the joy of Yuka Sasso in celebrating her victory by creating a stamp launch. Father God, I pray that that each and every stamp that will be um, used by the clients serve as a motivation re regarding her exemplary performance, Father God, in the field of sports. Bless even post office as we as we celebrate the joys and victories of all Filipino in whatever sports they are in, so that um, Filipino can be relieved in every community all over the world. Lord, we give you back all the praises and the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Salamat po. Everyone, kindly take your seats. Once again, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Some additional acknowledgments we also have from the Board of Directors, Director Liberty Avila, from the Philippine Postal Corporation. Thank you so much, madam. We also have Director Vidal Carol. Can you give them a round of applause? We have today with us Judge Gail Avila and Judge Cheryl Dolendo Tulabi. Thank you so much. Friends, to open today's program, we call on stage a dedicated public servant. Because of his work, the post office has been able to serve more and more Filipinos better than before. We invite on stage none other than our hardworking and spirited Postmaster General and CEO, Mr. Postman Norman Enfulhensho, to deliver his welcome remarks. Thank you. A pleasant good afternoon to everyone. To Miss Yuka, to Miss Yuka Sasso, the reigning U.S. Women's Open champion. To her father and life coach, Mr. Masaka, Masakazu Sasso. To the president of Sterling Sports and her sports manager, Mr. Jeff Chilcote. To our guest of honor, Executive Secretary Salvador Mijaldea. To our colleagues in the government, Attorney Giovanni T. Ling, Chief Prosecutor of Manila, and his lovely wife. To Civil Service Commissioner Ryan Acosta. To my dear colleagues in Postal Service, members of the Post Office Board of Director, Director Vidal Quirol, and Director Liberty Avila, Assistant Postmaster General for Administration and Finance, Francis Sereno, Assistant Postmaster General for Operations, Engineer Joel Samudio, Assistant Postmaster General, Maximo Santa Maria, for Management Support Services, to our fellow workers from the government, STEAM guests, Friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for sharing this momentous event with us. Today is Yuka Sasso Day at the Post Office. 
We warmly welcome the 76 U.S. Women's Open Champion, the first Filipino to win this unprecedented victory. Palakpakan po natin siya. Woo! Her jewel with NASA Hataoka of Japan took us all at the edge of our seats. It was so close that they had to play a sudden death playoff hole. But Yuka's discipline, patience, and consistency paid off. She became the first Filipino golfer to win a major. We are very proud of you, Yuka, at nagpapasalamat ang buong sambayan ng Pilipino sa karangalang inuwi mo. Yuka, you inspire the millions of Filipino youth to strive and play boldly. As one of the youngest ever win the U.S. Women's Open, you have showed the world what the Filipino youth is capable of. For everyone's information, at an early age, she has actively represented the Philippines in golf tournaments. In 2014, Yuka won the Visayas Regional Amateur and Alex Montalibano Memorial Tournaments, as well as the Saba International Junior Masters. Two years later, she surprised the world and won gold in 2016 World Junior Girls Championship. As if that is not enough, she was commended with a national award for winning two gold medals in the 2018 Asian Games at 17 years old. For her successive achievements, she truly deserved to be hailed as Athlete of the Year in 2018 and 2020 by the Philippine Sports Association. She finished ninth place in the women's individual golf event in 2021 Tokyo Summer Olympics. The postage stamps we will issue today is our own little way of recognizing the achievement of Ms. Yuka Sasso, who truly deserves the honor. Her winning moment featured in the stamp shall forever remind us that the youngest winner of the U.S. Women's Open is a Filipino, and we will always be proud of her. We sincerely honor the great Filipino individuals through stamps to fuel the Filipino passion for excellence anywhere in the world. Again, congratulations, Yuka, and hopefully more wins and more success come your way. We will pray for your success in the next coming, I think you're attending a Singapore tournament. We wish you all the best. Bring home the gold. Thank you for bringing joy and pride to the Filipino people. Again, we will always be proud of you. Mabuhay ang ating mahuhusay at magigiting na atleta ang Pilipino. Salamat po. Hello. Thank you, Mr. Postman. Kindly remain on stage as we call up Ms. Yuka Sasso and Executive Secretary Salvador C. Medialdea for the unveiling of our much-awaited stamps. Kindly position yourselves next to un the unveiling stand and gently lift the cloth on cue. So is everybody excited? Let's hear a round of applause before we do the unveiling. One, two, three. Let's give them a round of applause. The post office presents the stamps recognizing Yuka Sasso, first Filipino to win the U.S. Women's Open Championship. Kindly remain in place and please pause a short while for official photos. Okay. 
At this point, we will proceed with the ceremonial signing of official first day covers. Our ushers are giving you markers. Kindly sign your or affix your signature anywhere on the official first day cover. Ms. Yuka Sasso and Mr. Postman are jointly signing and will be followed, of course, by the Executive Secretary, Attorney Salvador C. Medialdea. Kindly prepare to enter the stage for the signing, Directors Avila and Corol. Photo op for the guests on stage. A short photo op for the guests on stage. Thank you. They are now joined by Director Liberty Avila and Director Vidal Carol of the Post Office. Afterwards, the guests who have signed may exit the stage. Next up, the Assistant Postmaster Generals will now affix their signatures. Kindly join us on stage, please. Assistant Postmaster Generals for Operations, Engineer Zamudio for Administration and Finance, Mr. Sereno, and for Management Support Services, we have Mr. Santa Maria. Kindly give them a round of applause, everybody. Kindly pause on stage for a short photo op. Thank you so much. Just one quick photo op. We call on the Commissioner for the Civil Service Commission, Attorney Ryan Alvin Acosta, followed by Attorney Giovanni Tanlim, the Head Prosecutor of the City of Manila, to affix their signatures as key representatives to this historic official first day cover. Thank you so much. And of course, we call on Mr. Masakazu Sasso and Sir Jeffrey Chilcoat to also affix their signatures for this very historic stamp item. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Kindly re-enter the stage, Mr. Postman for a photo op. Yes, sir. And Ms. Yuka Sasso. Sir, please remain on stage for a photo op. Thank you. Very short photo op. While they're having their photo op, everyone kindly give them a round of applause. With this signing, we have officially unveiled and launched the Yuka Sasso stamps. Coming up next, yes, thank you. Please exit the stage, except for our honoree who will now deliver a very short message about this historic achievement. Do I have to keep my mask? Uh, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Uh, my name is Yuka Sasso, professional golfer po. <laughs> um, I'm not very good with the speech, so hopefully you can bear with me. <laughs> um, um, again, thank you. Maraming salamat po ulit uh, for this um, honor. I'm very happy and super proud to be able to um, achieve this. And um, I, as a young girl, I dreamed to be a professional golfer and to be playing in LPGA Tour and you know, to be able to achieve that, um, there's a lot of hard work and um, time, effort, um, 
but you know, with this, all kind of achievements um, makes me feel like all the hard work pays off, and um, I think it'll make me push myself more to be better and to be able to achieve more achievement, um, special achievements like this. Um, and I am super happy and super proud that I was able to represent Philippines um, in Tokyo Olympics and of course um, in 2021 US Women's Open um, and to be able to win that. Um, it's just super, I felt very honored and super proud. Hopefully I can keep this up and make you all proud and laban lang. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your message, Yuka. We will hold your past and future successes with much passion and pride as you have for your sport in our country. For this next activity, we request of we request the presence of our Postmaster General and CEO to introduce our next guest speaker. Oh, I will do the very, very high honor of introducing our next speaker, the much, or sorry, the esteemed Executive Secretary from the Office of the President, Attorney Salvador C. Medialdea. Let's give him a round of applause. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, government workers, fellow golfers, and avid fans of the sport. I hope that all of you have been keeping safe as our nation pushes to recover from the effects of the pandemic. When I was invited by Phil Post to grace this occasion, I accepted it immediately. Actually, kahit hindi nila ako iimbitahin, pupunta ako. People know me, know that golf has a special place in my heart. I started to play in the 90s when I was still very active in the practice of law. Let me just say that mas naging active ako sa golf than in doing my profession. Joking aside, it pleases me that golf in the Philippines has renewed interest, not only because it can be safely played even at the height of the pandemic, automatic social distancing sa fairway unless lahat sa flight nyo ay three under. Sama-sama tayo sa ilalim ng puno but because of our guests of honor. In the Philippines, the interest of gold was further bolstered by last year's win of Miss Yuka in the U.S. Women's Open. The first ever victory of a Filipino in a major golf tournament. I recall watching the event with Yuka trailing behind Lexi Thompson in the early holes of the final round. Despite the early setbacks, Yuka managed to overcome the pressure, finish the round strong, and beat Nasa Hataoka in a three-hole playoff to win the trophy. Grabe ang tension. It was one for the books. Yuka's Olympic debut in Tokyo had a similar narrative a steady but strong climb up the little boards until she made an incredible back nine in the last day, landing her on the ninth spot. Truly, the game of golf reflects a lot of parallels in life. With patience, diligence, and inspiration and grit, we can achieve great results, notwithstanding the up to hill struggles that we may counter early on. It is also for this reason that God readily bears the true character of those who play it. The feats of Yuka in the sport reveal her character. 
She has exhibited before the international stage her composure and persistence in the midst of harsh conditions. She has also shown a positive outlook and cheerful attitude, reminding us not to always take things too seriously hard and to find silver linings in tough situations. And in spite of all her accomplishments, she has remained focused and humble. As we welcome Yuka home for some well-deserved time off before she goes back on tour, we thank her for giving the Filipino people something to cheer about, especially during these unprecedented times. On behalf of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, I congratulate you not only for gaining wins and impressive finishes while perfecting Rory McIlroy's swing, but providing inspiration and honor to all Filipinos, athletes and non-athletes alike. I commend the Philippine Postal Corporation, headed by Postmaster General and CEO Norman N. Fulhensio, for keeping up with the trends of time and recognizing present-day icons who have brought pride and joy to our nation through these posted stamps. For this, this institution also deserves a big congratulations. To our Yuka Sasso, the Filipino people will forever rally behind you and cheer you on. Today is February 2, 222, 22. This is Yuka Sasso's day. Mabuhay ang atletang Pilipino. Mabuhay si Yuka Sasso. Mabuhay ang Philippine Postal Corporation. Four. Thank you so much, Executive Four, Yuka. Secretary. Four. Let's give Yuka and the Executive Secretary a round of applause, okay. everybody. Executive Secretary, kindly remain on stage. We will now present to you our token. This will be presented by Mr. Postman and the Assistant Postmaster Generals. We are awaiting the token for the Executive Secretary, Salvador C. Medialdea. The handover will be witnessed by our Assistant Postmaster Generals. Kindly give them a round of applause. <laughs> Kindly come up on stage the party of the ex Office of the Executive Secretary, Attorney Maria Victoria Esquerol, Attorney McHill Bryant T. Fernandez, Attorney Kim Raiza Ouy, and Attorney Martin Christopher Francisco Roman, in turn, to receive their own philatelic frames. But first, of course, a photo op again. Thank you so much. Kindly give them a round of applause. We will now receive frames for Attorney Maria Victoria Esquerol, then Attorney McHill Bryant T. Fernandez. Our frames are being handed over. And we will have photo ops as we hand over these frames. Again, in order, Attorney Maria Victoria Esquerol. Oh, sorry. Kindly give them a round of applause first, everybody. Attorney McHill, Bryant T. Fernandez. Thank you. Next. Up, Attorney Kim Raiza Ooy, Undersecretary. Photo ops, please. Thank you. Up next, for the next frame. For the next frame, we still have Attorney Martin Christopher Francisco Roman. Kindly give him a round of applause. Thank you. Assistant Postmaster Generals, kindly remain on stage. We are 
going to hand over more of our philatelic frames. We call up on stage for the International Container Terminal Services Incorporated, Vice President for Business and Development in Asia, Mr. Jose Manuel de Jesus, to receive his token. Kindly give him a round of applause, everybody. The philatelic frame will be handed over by Mr. Postman. The philatelic frames we are presenting today are signed by both Yuka and Mr. Postman. Next up, for Mr. Enrique K. Razon Jr., we have Colo Ventosa. May we call on Colo Ventosa? Okay. Madam, the madam is approaching the stage. Let's wait for a while. Thank you so much. A round of applause for her, everybody. She is representing also the International Container Terminal Services Incorporated. Next up, we have Mr. Jeffrey Chilcoat, President of Sterling Sports Management. Let's give Sir Jeffrey Chilcoat a round of applause. Again, presented by Mr. Postman. We have the father of Yuka Sasso, Sir Mazakazu Sasso. Kindly come up on stage to receive your philatelic frame. Kindly give them a round of applause, everybody. And of course, our friends from government agencies, the Commissioner for the Civil Service Commission, Attorney Ryan Alvin R. Acosta. Kindly give Sir a round of applause. And up next, we have Attorney Giovanni Tan Lim, Head Prosecutor of the City of Manila. Thank you so much to our guests for joining us. He will also receive a frame signed by both Yu Casaso and Mr. Postman. These feature the stamps and the official first day covers. Kindly give them a round of applause again, everybody. Kindly pause for a while. So the official first day cover that you see on stage is an enlarged replica of actual official first day covers that are printed for our issuances. And last, of course, but not least, we have a presentation frame especially made for Ms. Yuka Sasso, our champ, the first Filipino to win the U.S. Women's Open Championship. And afterwards, as a surprise to Mr. Postman, we already also have prepared a presentation frame to be presented by Miss Yuka Sasso. Kindly give them a round of applause. One last photo up. Our guests will now exit the stage. So there you have it. The post office invites everyone to purchase the latest stamps at our booths, exclusively set up at the venue. One last photo up for the group on stage. Let's end it with a photo up for the group on stage. Afterwards, the Assistant Postmaster Generals may exit and the Directors may now enter the stage for their own photo op. Thank you, the Directors, Board of Directors, members of the Board. 
Mr. Postman and Ms. Yuka kindly remain on stage. We have Director Skerol and Director and Avila here on stage with us. Kindly give them a round of applause. We ask now on stage after them, Attorney Maria Victoria Escarol, Attorney Mikhail Bryant T. Fernandez, Attorney Kim Riza Ooy, and Attorney Martin Christopher Francisco Roman for their own photo op with our champion. Thank you. Kindly enter the stage. Yes, go right ahead. I'm sure everybody's excited. Thank you. A short photo up for our representatives from the Office of the Executive Secretary. Thank you so much. We now have, or sorry, we call on our friends from government agencies, the Commissioner for the Civil Service Commission, Attorney Ryan Alvin Acosta, and Attorney Giovanni Tan Lim for their own photo op with our champion. Kindly give them again a round of applause. And afterwards, we will have Judge Dolenda Tulabing and Judge Gail Avila. We also have on stage Mr. Jose Manuel de Jesus from ICTSI. And Sir Patrick Ronas. Thank you. Kindly pose for the cameras. So there you have it. The post office invites everyone to purchase the latest stamps at our booths exclusively set up for today in the area. We will also announce a media, small media press con opportunity outside. Okay, kindly pause.